Hi, this is Heidi Casper here, WordPress 101 for Boomers. And we've been going into Weaver 2 theme. This is a free theme that you can uh, download right now. Uh, soon they'll be able to just go get it inside uh, by searching for a theme inside your uh, WordPress back office. Uh, soon they'll have it set up that way. Um, but this is a pretty cool theme, and we've been going over some of the changes that you can make to it. Um, here's our site that we're working with on the Weaver 2 theme. And we've customized some of these, we've done some of the customization on it now. Uh, I'll probably use a different image here at some point in time, but it's okay for now. Um, the next thing, we've been going over the main options. And fonts makes it really easy for you to change the font on your site. Now the font is just like the words and how it's, uh, like how cursive and print is different from each other. You have a lot of different fonts, and some of the fonts will be the, the words will be squished up more, and some will be spread out more. And sometimes, if you sometimes you might make be bolder and show up, and they may be curly. Um, as you can see here, this is the font that it was using here, and you can go here and say, okay, hmm, let's try something else. And so we'll try something else. Okay, here it is, and you can see what the font looks like here. And you can see how the font looks like here. This is the first one we had, and this is the one we changed it to. They look similar, but they're different. We're going to go ahead and try the Comic Sans now and see how that one looks. Um, we'll refresh the page and see. It looks quite a bit different there. And that's alright too. You just keep working with them and changing the different fonts until you get the ones that you want. Now here I picked the Gothic. You can see there's more than one listed here. And the reason why they have three fonts is it depends on what font your viewer has on their computer as to what shows up. So if I have Century Gothic on there, then I'm going to see Century Gothic. If I don't, then they're going to go to the next one, which is Arial. And if not, then it's going to the very basic one. And that's why you have three different fonts showing up there, too. Okay, let's go ahead and see what will show up uh, on here. And it's not showing up any, look any different there. And my guess is I don't have the Gothic on my laptop here. But if you don't see it, that, that doesn't mean that somebody else might not see it. It just depends on uh, what's showing up on your you can also, on the fonts, you can change the font for the title, just like you did on the others. You can also change the size of the base font to the size. The others will be a percentage bigger and smaller. And it's at 12 points, so if you want to have your um, font here bigger, then you put in a bigger size and, or smaller. I'm going to exaggerate here. I put in 20 to see what 20 looks like. And you can see how everything is very and see it's kind of squishy. I would think maybe I don't want my ones being too small though because we have uh, people with bad eyesight but at the same time they can also increase what's on their screen too. Okay, now we're back in the widget areas and this is much like the uh, general appearance. You can go in and you can have it use it transparent or you can change the uh, colors there. Yeah, I don't mind the colors that they have there. I think those colors are working okay for me. But this is where you can go in and change it. Now you have different colored widget areas too. And you can change the colors and backgrounds on those. On my website here, you can see I have two different colored widget areas. And they kind of set them apart. And they don't kind of blend together there. Merge in together. You can also add a border. Change the margins and the padding and things on there too. Uh, with this background in the CSS, you can even go in and to the background image if you want. Uh, a lot of things that you can do. One more thing here, in the widget area, you have like a list, and this might be your list of posts or whatever. It automatically comes up with a field in disk. And you can change that. So it might have a custom bullet, something that you upload a graphic image, maybe a circle or a square. Oh, and for those who need to WordPress, these things here on the side, this is a widget area, and this is a widget area. These are widget areas. So anyway, that's how to do the fonts and widget areas, and I'll be back.